Please see the link in the description to download a worksheet for this video. These skyscrapers, bridges, roads, cars, and boats were all designed by engineers. Although only some people will choose to become engineers, we all study what they do and learn the engineering design process because we can use those skills to solve problems in many types of work, home projects, and hobbies. There are many types of engineers. In this video, we will describe only eight and only mention a little of what each does. Aerospace, chemical, civil, electrical, industrial, marine, mechanical, and software engineers. Aerospace engineers design things that fly. This includes helicopters and planes of all types and sizes. Ignition and liftoff of Ares 1X. Testing concepts for the future of new rocket Aerospace design. engineers also design rockets and satellites. They often work with other engineers on various parts of an aircraft or rocket. For example, electrical engineers will help design the flight electronics such as in the cockpit. Chemical engineers will help make strong materials and glues throughout the aircraft or rocket. Mechanical engineers will help design the many moving parts such as the landing gear. Chemical engineers design materials by mixing exact amounts of certain chemicals. In addition to designing materials used to build aircraft and cars, they design our common household products that include everything from paper and markers to plastics that we can recycle and cleaning solutions. Civil engineers make huge structures. They work with city planners to help design our transportation infrastructure, including roads and bridges of all types. They often work with architects to help ensure that building designs are strong, in addition to being attractive, whether those are small buildings or huge skyscrapers. Civil engineers also design all the water management systems we use, including the towers and underground pipes that bring water to our homes. Electrical engineers design electronic devices and anything with a screen, whether that's a computer, TV, smartphone, or other device. They often work with other engineers, since many modern machines have screens. Electrical engineers also design and maintain the electrical grid and cell towers for mobile phones. They ensure that we have a reliable electrical and communication infrastructure. Marine engineers design boats, ships, and offshore rigs. The word marine means the sea. They often work with other engineers, such as chemical engineers, who focus on making the best materials, and electrical engineers, who focus on the electronics. Mechanical engineers make machines. They take the lead on designing land-based vehicles, such as cars and trucks, including designing gasoline and diesel engines. They also design heavy equipment for road maintenance or construction. And they design all kinds of farm machinery. Mechanical engineers design washing machines and other large appliances we use frequently. Industrial engineers focus on making factories efficient. They often work with other engineers to design specialized machines and systems, depending on what a factory makes. A major goal industrial engineers have is to help keep factories consistently producing high-quality products at a fast pace with as little waste as possible. Software engineers write programs, sometimes called apps, that we run on our computers and smartphones. They write in a language called computer code. Using servers like those shown here, software engineers manage huge collections of data on the internet, which includes some that are called the cloud. One famous collection of data is the website you're using right now to watch this video. Software engineers work with computer scientists who are developing artificial intelligence, which we commonly abbreviate by calling it AI. Engineers use a lot of computer programs to help them design things. They often make simulations like this one, since it is a great way to test an idea quickly without having to spend money or time to build it in real life. They try to make the simulation very accurate so they can then build the real product based on that design. Here is a simulation of NASA's rover with the picture insert showing the real rover on Mars. They use 3D printers, much like you might have in your school library, to print a customized toy. 
The reason they use these printers is so they can make parts quickly and cheaply, so they can adjust their designs before the company starts making the product out of metal. After the design step, engineers work with many specialists to help make the first version of the new product, which is called a prototype. Unlike models in the design step that may have been made of plastic and quickly printed by a 3D printer, a prototype is made of the real material, which is often metal, so is much harder to work with. They rely on high-tech machines like this laser cutter that is cutting apart from a piece of sheet metal. And they depend on specialists like this welder. Some prototypes are small and can be assembled by just one or two engineers, then is ready for the testing step. Other products are large parts that need big teams and specialized equipment, just to transport it to the worksite, where people have to use cranes to assemble it. Perhaps the most important skill engineers have is good communication skills with their teammates and with their clients. Clear communication makes up a large part of the way that engineers make things, which is called the engineering design process. We will talk about the engineering design process in a separate video, because it is a big topic. Our country encourages creativity by awarding inventors a patent for the product or process they invent. Some of the most famous inventions in the world's history were designed in the U.S. That includes the light bulb which Thomas Edison and his team invented in 1879 that was able to last longer than light bulbs invented in the 45 years prior to that. Nikola Tesla's AC electric motor and his proposal to make the electric grid run on alternating current continue to make a huge impact on our daily lives. Here's a summary of the topic we just covered. Please pause the video to read this if you wish. If you're interested in practice tests that are similar to state exams, but with detailed, colorful explanations for each answer, then please see our apps in the App Store. Many of these are free and none expire or limit their function. Since we only make educational products for children, none of our apps have third-party advertising, in-app purchasing, or connect to the internet. Please subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future educational videos we make. Thanks for your attention.